real estate sector has no law. You can imagine. We are the biggest <laughs> taxpayers and there is no law. There was a lot of confusion. The proposed real estate bill intends to govern the real estate industry effectively and address issues relating to unethical practices in the sector. Stakeholders have expressed their views on the move to professionalize the real estate sector for transparency and protection of clients. So we could not push for the law without the housing policy. Now we had to get the housing policy in place. So it took some time, but after the housing policy came in place, we embarked on the real estate Bill. The sixth consultative meeting on the real estate bill held in central Uganda brought together the academia, political leaders, developers, brokers, agents and representatives from relevant ministries. I'm delighted to see that at least uh, a plan to redefine this industry, the way it's, it, it's been operating. It was therefore necessary that government puts in place a legal framework to curb these challenges and also ensure that the sector operates in a fair, ethical and sustainable manner. During the consultations, stakeholders emphasized the importance of a collaborative approach to addressing challenges in the real estate sector. Stakeholders expressed views on the move to professionalize the sector for transparency and protection of clients. There's also construction, there's surveying, there's land documentation. Even the documentation is lacking, you find that someone has an agreement from the ROC uh, stamped and they say, ah, this is my land, I can use it for whatever I want. All this should be included in the bill so that uh, it can help us on the, on the planning bit of it. The state minister for lands, Pasis Namuganza, asked the real estate managers to realign their sector and harmonize their costings in accordance with the land and tenant policies. Namuganza tasked the real estate managers to also work in tandem with the country's physical planning. She says the minister will organize a workshop to orient all real estate managers into modern physical planning for organized developments and also ask them to focus on low income developments rather than high end properties. You can even make more money if you were now focusing on high end properties rather than high end properties. The ministry will continue with consultations on the Real Estate Bill 2024 for inclusivity across the country. Susan Naonga reporting for EBC TV.